What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I showcase to you guys the fastest method in farming and getting those faction tokens to rank up those factions to earn them top level loot rewards. But hey people before we get into that if you guys would like to support my channel hitting that like button truly does help me out and I do appreciate that support. Okay, so with the faction rallies now within Season 3, many things have changed when it comes to earning tokens. You obviously know about the Renown, it stacks up to 5 and is obtained via patrol activities such as patrol missions, high value targets and public events. These all give you Renown. Patrol missions and high value targets give you 1, public events give you 3. But if you are wearing a full faction gear set, armor wise, you gain 1 additional Renown. So 2 for a patrol, 2 for a high value target and 4 for a heroic public event. So once you have 5 Renown to maximise your token earnings, you have to do a Lost Sector. In doing a Lost Sector with 5 Renown on, you receive 10 Faction Tokens, but you also receive 5 for that public event. So the best way in farming these is locating public events on said planets, which are quick and fast to do, which are close in proximity to easy and quick Lost Sectors for you to maximise speed and progress in earning those tokens. I've literally spent an entire day people figuring out what in my opinion are the quickest and easiest places to do this on said planets and the best thing about this method is there is no waiting around. I also people can't put this across enough, the crimson is so damn helpful when doing this especially if you're doing it solo the health regen on every kill means you spend less time trying to track down health orbs. So Crimson in your Kinetic slot, a Decent Scout in your Energy slot, and a Launcher or Sniper in your Power Weapon slot. That is the loadout I will go with. I will also say I did all of this solo, doing it in a fire team makes it even quicker. Now if you want them top level faction rewards you need a total of 1000 tokens. You get quite a few each day for doing the faction rallies milestones. Do this across all three characters you can earn easily over 100 tokens. But after that you're kinda stuck. And unless you know a fast method it will take you absolutely ages. So today I bring you what in my opinion are the best spots to do this which include easy public events and easy lost sectors. So where you start is completely up to you. You can start at any of the locations I will point out today, it really doesn't matter. Now the locations to use are as follows. On Earth you want to use Trossland. Here the public event is the Glimmer Extraction. Out of the lot today, this is by far the longest public event to do, but it is really easy and you shouldn't have any problems doing it, even if you solo it. Remember also people wearing that full faction gear gives you 4 renown for doing a heroic public event. To get 5, either pick up a kill patrol mission within the area or keep an eye out for a high value target. They do normally spawn in and around the same time public events come in. For the public event and that high value target or patrol mission you will have that 5 renown. What you want to do then is simply head into the last sector within the church. Remember though guys, you are weak with 5 Renown, your energy regen is super slow, killing enemies is harder, but killing enemies does indeed drop health orbs, so take your time, if you try and rush through it, you will probably die, making you lose a Renown, which you don't want to do. So go through the last sector, do your thing, kill the boss, open that chest and the loot is yours. Once you've opened that last sector chest, your Renown disappears and the process starts again. So now what you want to do is use another location which I recommend. On Nessus you can go to either Exodus Black or the Artifacts Edge. Within Exodus Black, the public event here, the one you want is the Aether Resupply. If it isn't this one, go to one of the other recommended spots. But if it is this, make it heroic and get it done. Four Renown awaits. While you are at it, pick up a patrol mission or keep an eye out for a high value target. Once you have that five Renown, head to this last sector right here. Run through, do your thing, and grab that chest and earn those tokens! Artifacts Edge on Nessus is another great spot, with one of the easiest public events to do. To make it heroic, as we all know, just destroy that incoming ship, pretty damn easy. Remember what you have to do for that 5 Renown though people, a patrol mission or high value target. Once you have it, enter this last sector right here. I have no idea why that might be. Oops. 
Now within this last sector lies a few Vex enemies. You can run through them but it is kind of risky. I take out a few of them then run up and jump onto the centre platform as you can see on the screen now and then just shoot down at the last sector boss. You can kill him pretty quick doing this and once you've killed him you have that chest and the loot is yours. Then what you want to do is locate another public event which is about to start. On Titan you want the Sirens Watch public event which is destroy the Arsenal Walker. So once you have done this and got that extra renown via killing the HVT or doing a easy patrol mission, head to this last sector right here. Now this last sector can seem pretty difficult going into it for the first time, but once you know the certain routes to take in it, it's actually very very easy. The shriekers you can avoid and the boss you can take down within seconds. I just lay a little damage into the boss until he runs into the final room. I sometimes then take out a shrieker and then just follow the boss into the final room, jump up onto this room this knight is hiding in, kill him and lay it down on the boss. Very, very easy guys. Then what you want to do is look for another public event. On IO you want to go to the rupture area. Here again is another simple public event where you have to take out the Thrasher ship to trigger that heroic. Again after you've done this or even before grab an easy patrol mission or locate and kill a HVT and that 5 renown will be waiting for you after this public event is done. You then want to travel to this last sector right here. Now this is by far the easiest last sector I came across. Get past the first initial room and then just take out the boss from afar. Really easy guys and then simply grab that chest. Now these 5 locations are in my opinion the easiest farming methods especially for a solo player. The best thing about this method is also it almost guarantees one of these locations will be ready and waiting for you as soon as you finish that previous one. So you can just simply fly from planet to planet to maximize your token farm and it is people as simple as that. A little reminder the locations are Trust land within the EDZ, Exodus Black and Artifacts Edge on Nessus, the Rupture on IO and Sirens Watch on Titan. These are the locations I have been using and are in my opinion all you will need to maximise your farm. And guys on that note I am out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did leaving a like really does help me and my channel out and I do appreciate that support. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos be sure to subscribe and hopefully people I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, you never get it right.